China's defunct space station is hurtling back to Earth and experts say it's on course to crash in the next day or so. China lost control of the Tiangong-1 spacecraft after it was decommissioned in 2013. Dr. Jonathan McDowell is an astronomer at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Boston. He told us why the crash date had been shifted. It's just weather forecasting, right, is really hard. And we're forecasting the density of the upper atmosphere of the Earth. Uh, and when the sun burps and uh, sends uh, radiation and plasma towards the Earth, that changes the density of the atmosphere, changes the headwind. Uh, and so uh, the, the Tiangong-1 spacecraft is going around the Earth at 17,000 miles an hour. It feels a very thin headwind from the, uh, uh, the outer atmosphere. And as that gets denser and less dense, the rate that Tiangong spirals in speeds up or slows down. And so we just uh, 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 overestimated how much the, uh, the slowing would be, gave it a few extra hours of life. So we'll see. Things could still change in the next few hours, but we're pretty confident now that it'll come down sometime late on the first, early on the second. The orbit of the spacecraft goes from 43 degrees north to 43 degrees south every 90 minutes it goes around the earth at 17,000 miles an hour. So if you're off by an hour in when it comes down, you're 17,000 miles wrong. Uh, really the chance of anyone being hurt is one in tens of thousands. Uh, it's, it's, uh, the, the earth is a big place and most of it is pretty empty. So we uh, really don't, don't worry too much. Even if some debris does come down in a populated area, it'll be, you know, this seven and a half ton station will mostly melt on the way down. Uh, it'll break up into different fireballs, which will come down and maybe, you know, a few hundred pounds each. Uh, and, uh, and they won't be crashing at 17,000 miles an hour. They'll only be crashing at 100 miles an hour or so. It'll be like a light plane crash, but spread over a hundred mile strip. Uh, and so the damage won't be too much. Dr. Jonathan McDowell there. Stay with us on BBC World News still to come.